Mr. Top Loaded Gaming, the fucking garden gnome who thinks he's intelligent. Hey everyone, Trevor at Top Loaded Gaming. So obviously I wasn't intending on making a video so soon about what happened on the stream. If you're not familiar, I streamed with uh, Tipster. It was supposed to be a tipster and I only stream and then that ended up turning into uh, getting on stream with, with tipster and smash. And then at some point destiny joined tipster bounced and t uh, smash and destiny went at it a little bit. Now upon rewatching some of the stream, you know, as the, as the stream was happening, I kind of noticed some whispering going on and I kind of felt it, it was kind of odd, but so many things were happening. I kind of just forgot about it. Uh, I didn't bring it up at all, but upon rewatching the stream, I'm noticing all sorts of things like destiny FOMO being coached on the side. And so here, here's the, here's the thing. So I, I, I notice a couple of different instances. One is it seems to me that someone is snapping at her to get her attention and she clearly looks at them and hears, you know, hears them out, but you can't really make out what's being said. I'm not talking about your video and I'm not talking about that time. I'm talking about so you're, you are you're, pushing you're your chest together. You're picking and choosing sections. I'm not talking about your video and I'm not talking about that time. I'm talking about so you're, you're pushing so you're your chest together. You're picking and choosing sections. Now, the second clip is someone whispering. I believe you can hear whispering uh, to her. And she again acknowledges them. Back and forth. And he was about to feed you some false information. So I wanted to stop you. So you want to call me? Back and forth. And he was about to feed you some false information. So I wanted to stop you. So you want to, I wanted to stop you. So you want to, I wanted to stop you. So you want to, then I find the third example and you can, you can kind of clearly hear someone saying yelling at you, right? Like, like someone's there telling her, tell him to stop yelling at you. And what, what's even worse is a few seconds later, a few moments later, Guess what Destiny tells Smash JT? I didn't think it was the right place it's, to do it's it. It's not the person you are, but you still believe it. So it is let, the person you are. Let, 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 let me ask you this. What, was there a specific reason you, you deleted the tweet? After I cooled down for a second, I decided that it was not the right place, but he also needs to stop yelling at me. He needs to ra uh, lower his voice. Keep that. Keep that. That. Stop yelling at me. You need to stop yelling at me, right? So this is what I did. I decided I was going to uh, give Destiny the, the, the chance to to come clean because, you know, if, if the guy, if the guy that, that she's with is emotional, you know, and, and wants to take up his, for his wife, maybe I'd be doing the same thing. But there's also a consideration with this, you know, I, I've always had the feeling that when, when she tried issuing the, the threats, uh, the legal threats against, uh, overthink gaming, I believe it was the second time around. She ended up putting out this video, uh, called why I left Twitch. And it was in the middle of all this controversy. And it just seemed like this PR move to me that, from then on, and I've even questioned Destiny, and she can she can tell you that I questioned her on this uh, myself. I, I asked her if she had a PR team behind her because I thought that was a genius move, you know, to, to make a video looking for, for sympathy, right? Now, she's claimed that that was not done, that it was in the schedule, whatever. But if you take a look through that lens of, you know, someone uh, in the background, tell them, tell them to stop, you know, yelling at you. You know, could that could that be just the you know the 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 boyfriend in the background, like you know, getting emotional about it, or could it be you know so the same guy that that's really smart when it comes to PR and is like make make sure you grill him on yelling at you, you know? Uh, so I I don't know, uh, but I gave her the chance to tell the truth on this completely. She had every opportunity to just come clean. Like, what's the big deal? The guy, you know, he he's he's emotional about it. She could have said a number of things, okay. 
She could have said a number of things that, that would have been completely fine. But so I ended up asking her, hey, I noticed something on stream and it sounded weird to me. It sounded like someone was maybe snapping. Now, Smash Smash has kids, so maybe so it, it may be on his end. That's what I'm leaning towards, but I got to ask you, did your significant other stay off to the side and coach you? Was it him snapping at you? And then she types, actually, he's still at his mom's house for Mother's Day, right? So then I put, so no one was with you in the house then. Must have been his kids off cam, right? And she took she took about three minutes to type this, this next comment up. She says, I had the TV on super low with the wrestling on so it wouldn't come through the mic but it was so low it was low that uh, i doubt anyone heard that no one coaches me if i didn't think i couldn't handle it i wouldn't have gone on my niece was here but she was not in the living room when i went live with you she was in and out before i went live with you and i was back for i was back for after and we and went back to his mom's house so the simple answer no one was here to coach me. Now, hearing the audio, looking at the clips, I, I, I just cannot take this as anything other than a lie. Now, um, she also goes on to say, I hope I didn't come off as rude because I didn't mean to. I'm just not the damsel in distress that someone has to coach me. Smash was being a dick and I could have said more, but I chose to bite my tongue. Okay. Uh, that, that, that may be fair, whatever. Um, but... Here, here's my thing, uh, everyone. So, if Destiny FOMO is willing to lie like this uh, to, to, to save face, right? Uh, can, can, can she be trusted when she says she did not, she did not threaten trust chill and then delete it afterwards, okay? Because she, to me, this is, this is definitive proof. And I guarantee you, if people go and search more, and maybe I'll do the same thing, but to me, why bother? This is this is more than enough proof right here that she is willing to lie to save face. Now, to me, this this confirms like she's she's kind of walking that that path or whatever, and you know she's willing to lie. So you know, take that for what you will. You know, I tried to be as as fair. And, and and impartial as I could, you know, uh, but but clearly, and I, I hope t Tipster sees this as well and and rightfully uh, looks down on it because even if even if someone was coaching her, what's the big deal? Why you have to, why do you have to lie about it? To say like to say face, it's not even really that big a deal, right? It's not even really that big a deal that someone would do that. But why lie about it? And I don't care what anyone says. If she's willing to lie about that, she's willing to lie about other things to, to save face. Absolutely. And if she's willing to, to lie to me, someone who, who's been actively trying to help her, she's willing to lie to Tipster. And she's willing to lie, uh, to, lie to other people that are trying to help her. So, you know, that, that's about it for me. Uh, I'm, I'm really kind of let down uh, in this situation. It is what it is. You know, I... I, I I gave her all the opportunity to tell me the truth right there, right there, and you know she just fell flat on her face right there because it, it, it's undeniable. But anyways, that's gonna do it for me. This is Trevor over at Top Loaded Gaming. I'll see you next time. Mr. Top Loaded Gaming, the fucking garden gnome who thinks he's intelligence.